Okay, I've just finished up putting all the water service in the wall, the taps and everything, so I'll just show you how, how it all sort of turned out. Um, I haven't cemented it in yet, so I've just had to get it all level, make sure it's all fine and, and all that sort of stuff, make sure it's set right, because once it's in, it's in, make sure I'm, you know, clamping all the, all the rings and everything correctly, because I'm not going to have a chance to test this before the tiler starts, so you got to make sure it's right. So this is in the, um, the ambulant bathroom, so I've got the toilet, that's coming through from, from the other side here. Um, you can see this is the, um, the sink mixer, so here's the handle and this is the outlet that comes out here. So that hat pops through to the other side of the wall here, on the other side where the fridge is sitting. So you can see there I've got the um, hot and cold come up. I've put a uh, connection on here, so if we ever have a fridge with a water connection later on down the track, it's always nice, easy to put in now, hard to do later. So we'll chuck that in there now. And then also we've got here, um, Got a few things here, we've got the hot and cold for the sink, and this is just another cold line I thought for maybe a water filter or something. Again, easy to do now, hard to do later. This is the dishwasher connection down here. Okay, um, this is the cold connection for the hot water. So I'm gonna have the isolation valve in the cupboard here, and then this, this pipe here is gonna go through to the other side, I'll show you that in a sec. And that's where the hot water system's gonna be mounted. So the hot water, you can just see, is coming in here, and it goes up, and the, so we're just sticking the pipes up through the top there. Uh, move around to the sort of laundry area. Got the hot and cold for the laundry laundry tap here, and then the hot and cold for the laundry. And then these ones here go through to the other side for the disabled basin there. So again, the pipes are going up um, in there ready for connection later on. And <clears throat> here we are in the uh, disabled bathroom. So we've got the hot and cold coming through for the, for the bathroom, uh, the basin there, so that's coming out good. And here's the shower set up, so you can see, um, so here's the outlet for the shower, the mixer. Um, that's the cold that goes to the other side of the wall for the disabled toilet, and that's the, the other toilet um, for the, sorry, that's the ambulance toilet. This is the disabled toilet, all coming together. Now, when you are doing a renovation or a, um, yeah, like a new builder or something, it's always good just to ask your plumber if he can take some yeah, document where the pipes are, where the, you know, where the pipes are going up and down the wall and stuff like that. Very easy to do nowadays because like us, we're, we're totally paperless. So we can attach videos and photos really easy to the job. It stays there up in the cloud forever. So we've had times where people have, like give you an example, we've done a renovation in the kitchen or something and they've asked, uh, look, we want to hang some overhead cupboards, which you, which you do a lot in the kitchens, right? Do you know where the gas pipe is or do you know where the, the, the water pipe is? So it's just a matter of um, taking some measurements. We usually take a measurement from here, say across, that's going to be 100 mil across there and it goes directly up, you know, so then they can transfer that measurement um, once all the cupboards are in and the tiles are all done and say, look to the cabinet maker up there, don't drill anywhere in this area here because you hit a pipe and it's going to be a nightmare to fix. So always get your plumber to just to take some photos, videos. It just saves you a lot of grief in the in the in the meantime. Especially over on the on that disabled, I've got the rail and everything. I've worked it all out already. But if you ever want to add something on later on, um, same with the laundry too. If we want to have an overhead cabinet, we need to know how far off that wall we have to keep it off. You know, so we, I've ta I've taken a measurement already to say from here to here it's 100 to 130 mil. That's where the chase is. We can't fix anything to that. So that's a tip from a plumber. Anyway, so I've got to um, cement all this in the wall now, make it all neat, and then um, clean up. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned, and I'll um, keep videoing as we go along. We have some more progress. So I'll just show you um, what's going on at the warehouse today. We've got the tiler in. Um, got his set up here. Um, so I've finished all the pipes in the wall, um, cemented them all up. So um, he's, he's come in here. I'll just show you what's going on here. This is Dylan, my tiler, so he's tiling away. There he is, there you go. And uh, there it is, so he's just done the floor. That's the inspection opening for the toilet on the other side, and that's the floor waste that's gonna be there. So, and then over the other side, I'll just show you what's happening under the tiles over here. So this whole area is, you know, this is where the disabled shower is um, going. So uh, the whole area needs to be waterproof. So this, this is a membrane that they, that they put on the walls, right? Because Tiles are, are porous, so they will, um, you know, they'll suck water in, and that's when you have the bubbling on the other side of the wall. They, just, you know, no one used to do that back in the day in the 70s and stuff like that. Um, so now you can put this massive membrane on um, around wherever the wet area is, and we've done the whole floor as well. Okay, so so tiles are all going to go on that um, later, later on. So that's uh, really important. So see, I've got all the uh, 
everything coming out the wall ready to go. Up here too, you know how I talked about the chase, how you don't want to see it? So that's the, uh, that's how, how I finished it off there. See, so I've, I've cemented all this up and then I've just done a little groove like this through here. Um, so it looks like the brick continues on. So when you paint it, hopefully it's not gonna, you know, draw the eye to it. So anyway, looking good. So very excited having, getting all this done and sorted. So once the, um, the tiling's finished, I'll probably put some, put some floor protection down um, to protect it because we'll be working above it with, this, with the C channels and everything up here. So um, yep, yeah, it's looking, looking all good so far. Um, making some progress. So it's always hard when you're working and trying to sort out the warehouse, but yeah, really looking forward to moving in. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.